Live. This is the Nonstop News at 9. Hello and welcome to NBC Sports Tonight. I'm David Zarco. And I'm Melissa Egan. Well, football is back. The four-month NFL lockout is finally over and the Dolphins are wasting no time getting to work. The team facility in Davie opening its doors this morning. Players streaming in anxious to get down to business before training camp starts this weekend and before the regular season begins in less than six weeks. It feels like the first day of class, whatever it may be, college, whatever you want to call it, but I mean, I'm pretty nervous, but uh, I know it's time to work now, man. And the Dolphins just releasing their training camp schedule. First practice is Friday at 11 a.m. and it's open to the public. The team is also holding a scrimmage Monday night at Sun Life Stadium. That's at 730 and if you want to check it out, admission and parking are free. The Dolphins first preseason game is right around the corner, August 12th in Atlanta. I'm here at the Miami Dolphins training facility in Davie where the Dolphins just wrapped up day one of training camp. With the lockout over and the chaos of free agency, you can bet that these players were ready to get back to work on the field. They were on the ropes again against Brazil but pulled off a dramatic come from behind win. Today the U.S. facing France in the semifinals of the Women's World Cup. And while the finish wasn't as frantic, it sure was fun to watch. After playing to a one-all draw through the first 78 minutes, former Florida Gator Abby Wambach is a hero again. She heads in the corner kick from Lauren Cheney giving the U.S. a 2-1 to one lead. Thanks, Michael. Now, if you were hoping to go to a game during this weekend's Marlins series with the Mariners, good luck. The Fish got kicked out of their own home. Why? David Zarco joins us now with the answer. Now, before the players got on the field this morning, Miami Dolphins owner Stephen Ross came out and spoke to the media. He talked about quarterback Chad Henney, running back Reggie Bush, and even put head coach Tony Sperano on the hot seat a little bit, talking about the pressure to win this season. Negotiations continue today and tomorrow, with hints the deal could be voted on by next Thursday. Thanks, Kelly. And before we leave you tonight, here's something you probably shouldn't try at home. This is David Cannonball Smith. Now the Dolphins have just 14 days before the first preseason game in Atlanta. Now watching that, he goes head first over that outfield wall. There's and, gotta be something. And we have absolutely no idea where he's landing. Like I'm hoping there is a huge net or something there saving him. <laughs> There's no parachute, that's for sure. Well, that will do it for us tonight. I'm Melissa Egan. That'll do it for sports. I'm Melissa Egan. We'll be back right after this. Head out to Sun Life Stadium on Monday night. They will be holding their first full pad scrimmage at 730. It's open to the public, free parking and admission. Melissa Egan, NBC Miami.